Well, we've been hiking uphill for over five miles. I think we've actually hiked over a mile. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And welcome to another video. So yesterday, Victoria and I made a nice five and a half hour trip from Lake Tahoe to Weaverville, California. Have you ever heard of it? Because <laughs> we haven't. I had never heard of it before. But. <laughs> yeah, and there we picked up our free permits to go backpacking at the ranger station in the town. Yeah, so we're going to go backpacking in the Trinity Alps Wilderness. We're doing a little hike called the Four Lakes Loop. But before all that, yesterday we got here, we set up camp, and yeah, we kind of just hung out, Had made some dinner, dinner and kind of just tried to get a little bit of sleep. But now we're going to hop in the truck, head to the trailhead, and start our little backpacking adventure. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> So about two miles into the hike now and the update it's like mostly uphill I don't know how long it goes uphill Cody read it might go uphill for like eight miles that's what I saw in like a review we'll see but it's hot it's a little humid but the trees are so dense in here so it's like a lot a lot of coverage so it's not terrible also the beginning of the hike there was a lot of mosquitoes and we actually just bought this like new bug repellent called Picardin, Picardin, right? By Sawyer. Picardin, yeah, it's like a, it's like a synthetic pepper extract. I don't know what it is, but it works great. It's like supposed to be more natural or whatever, but it's, it's working. So yeah. be prepared for bugs if you do come up on this hike and be prepared to hike uphill for a long time. And, and have apples. apples. <laughs> <laughs> you like apples? <laughs> Difficult as this hike has been, the wildflowers out here are popping off. Look at this. Oh, they're That's as huge. tall as my wife. Give me an update. Code oh. blue. Well. We've been hiking uphill for over five miles. I think we've actually hiked over a mile up, which is pretty crazy. But I'm beat. I'm doing this on three hours of sleep. My legs are tired. It's pretty though. The valley's cool. The valley's cool. Mountain's cool. But we still gotta hike up all the way up there. So onward we go. I'm glad that we're eating lunch right now because it's like three o'clock. I was starving. We're finally eating lunch because that took way longer than expected. Oh, that hike was so hard. I was it not was... prepared for that at all. No, we didn't really research, I guess. We figured like, oh, it's like six miles, whatever. But apparently it's six miles, but you're also hiking up over a mile. So yeah. literally from the second you start the trail until, I don't know. 500 yards from the lake, you're just hiking uphill the yeah. entire time. So and then once you get to the ridge, it's just down to the lake. Yeah. 
by far the hardest hike we've done this summer. Maybe the hardest hike we've done on a backpacking trip ever. I think I agree with you. Like mileage wise, we've done way more miles, but I don't think we've ever done this much elevation before. Mm -hmm. But So um, it wasn't easy. The best moment after a long hike in to your camp is jumping in the lake. I don't know, this kind of freaks me out because it's like all mud right here and it just feels so weird. You guys might be wondering why our tent is in a different spot. That's because our original setup was less than 200 feet away from the lake. We were way too close way to the lake. Way too close. But, but we, we set up there because we had no other place to go. Yeah, so somebody else was right here and they were actually gone away from their tent. So I figured we would set up wherever we could and just wait for these people and see what their plan was. And we got lucky. They decided to leave, we took their spot, and now we are following all the rules. So yes. you don't have to call me out in the comments because we moved our tent. <laughs> <laughs> and as tempting as it is to be close by the lake, don't do it, okay? Yeah. Just don't do it. It's not good for the environment. 200 feet away Follow from the, the rules. water. Follow the rules. You know, there's rules out here. You can't just go crazy. Yeah. You can't just go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys probably have noticed that Cody is wearing a ring. Yeah, if you're uh, very observant, you may have noticed this black thing on my finger. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so that means we got married. Yeah, we did. We uh, we kind of, it was kind of like an elopement, I guess. Um, yeah, there was like two people there and- A photographer. It was amazing. If it seems like I'm not stoked, it's because there's people camping like right next to us. So I'm trying to contain my excitement. But, but the whole day went so much better than expected. It was perfect. And I would do it 10 times over again, just like that. Yeah, literally we could not have asked for a better wedding. I mean, here, check out a couple photos. But yeah, it was just like super special just between Cody and I and that like, it was just great. It was amazing. So yeah, needless to say, Victoria is now Victoria Blue. Mrs. Blue! And she is officially a part of the family. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask you guys, should I change the name of the channel to Cody and Victoria or should I leave it as Cody Blue or maybe change it to something else? Maybe the blues? I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments below because I'm just curious what you think. We have some of our, ide our ideas, but we want to know what you guys think. Yeah, so let me know uh, if, I, if I should change it or not. But otherwise, we are very happily married and I don't know, we couldn't be more excited.
So, day one is complete. We had a very awesome spot. We got super lucky. Super lucky. Down here at Deer Lake, we were camped like right in this little grass area, which we super lucked out because a bunch of people are camped up there. But now for day two, we're headed to two different lakes, hopefully. So there's Summit Lake and then there's Diamond Lake. Now we want to camp at Diamond Lake, but there's only two spots there. So they might be taken. And it's Friday and usually it's busier on the weekend, so. Right, yeah, and some guy we just walked past was like, oh, good luck down there because apparently Summit Lake is very busy. Ugh. So we might be camped like right next to somebody, which isn't really my jam, yeah, but. We'll see. What can we do? But now we're gonna be hiking this trail. I don't know if you guys can see, but it kind of goes across this face here and then it zigzags up the ridge. So we've got a little bit of uphill, but then I think it's pretty much downhill from there. So, shouldn't be too challenging today. So this is Diamond Lake and we really lucked out again. Like we, we were straight like booking it from Deer look Lake. At our tent spot, look at that. It is right there. Oh yeah. And then we got the lake right there. And then if you go this way, freaking sick view. Ugh. I don't know. We just keep getting lucky with these spots. I don't so. know. We did have to hurry though. We beat a couple of groups by like a minute yeah. to try and get a good spot. So yeah, um, keep that in mind. This whole loop, the Four Lakes loop, it's very busy. Yeah, and it's Friday, so I'm sure it's gonna get even busier. But yeah, yeah the trail though from Deer Lake to here, no problem. Like Super easy. easy two, two miles, miles, like up, straight, down, and you're here. Yep. Hi. Look at uh, these. Hi. Hi. Little flippers. <laughs> oh, yeah, going oh. in our tent. You want to stay the night with us? Hi! You want to stay the Look night? You, you want to stay the night? You're so cute. <laughs> so there's one more lake on this Four Lakes loop called Luella Lake. And since we've been kind of just sitting around doing a whole bunch of nothing today, we figured we might as well go on a little day hike and check it out. So yeah, we're going to go see what it's about. But currently, the hike from Diamond to Luella is super sick. Check out this view. Man, that might be one of my favorite mountain ranges. There's only like a few others I can think of that look a lot better than that. So yeah, if anything, check out this hike just for the view. All right, so we did our little hike to Luella Lake and now we have seen all four lakes in the Four Lakes Loop. So for me, I think camping wise, Diamond is probably the best, but views, I don't know. I thought Luella was pretty sick. It kind of has like the coolest mountain range. So yeah, it was cool. But now my beautiful wife is making us some dinner. Babe, what do we have for dinner today? We got some green curry, you know, it's Thai as Check usual. Green curry teriyaki and then the sweet potato mac and cheese oh, nice. okay. it's for kids but you know there's nutrients in there so you know your kids don't eat kids always veggies. get the nutritious stuff it doesn't taste as good to be honest what else we got um oh yeah and then we got these things oh, nice. premium white chicken fajita flavored sauce hey you really sold it sounds great 
But yeah, so we're gonna eat, and then I think we're actually gonna climb up this little mound right here because on the other side is an amazing mountain range. So we're gonna go up there, watch the sunset. It should be super cool. And then we're just pretty much gonna go to bed because we wanna get up super early because we have to hike all the way up this ridge tomorrow and then seven miles to the car. So yeah, we're gonna turn in early, but first we're gonna eat an amazing dinner and hopefully catch a cool sunset. Ah, that was an amazing trip. Trinity Alps Wilderness treated so us good. very well. It is, it's kind of a hidden gem, honestly. Yeah. This is probably our favorite trip besides the Banff trip. Yeah, the mountain ranges here are just beautiful. They and are they are epic. endless. They are, like here, take one last look at Diamond Lake down there and that amazing backdrop. That is a sick mountain range, but yeah, we would highly recommend this trip. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the only thing to keep in mind is that it's a little bit busy out here. So just expect you are gonna see other people on the trail. You're probably gonna have to set up your tent close to somebody else. Yeah, and but... there's limited campsites at each lake too. So uh, we'd probably recommend that you would go during the week. Yeah, during the week option. or come in super early, but otherwise the views more than make up for mm -hmm. being a little bit close to somebody else. Yeah, so. so now we gotta hike about seven miles back to our car and then we're driving about three hours to another else. state for our next video yeah. so yeah you guys will see that in the next one but otherwise i guess we'll uh we'll catch you guys soon yeah catch you soon peace out Bye. so this is deer lake oh wait this is not deer lake. <laughs> nice try <laughs> nailed it <laughs>